Well, you've heard the old saying about it being in a million pieces. That's about right. Um, I got this all apart finally. I ended up having to pretty much disassemble the front suspension, partially at least, to get this off. I had to get this backing plate off because uh, this is uh, this wheel cylinder here bolts in. This is the back side. This is uh, towards the inside of the car, but this wheel cylinder bolts through this backing plate. It's got two bolts right there and there, those two, and they are positioned in such a way behind the suspension spindle, the uh, part they see right there that you really can't get anything in there. You can if these bolts are loose, but they were not loose. I thought I was going to break them off, but they finally came out, but I ended up having to take all this apart. So uh, if you ever have to do this, you need to just be careful about taking anything apart on the suspension. If you've got a car that's got a, a coil spring loaded upper A arm, which means the coil spring is like right in there and it's pushing up on the upper A arm, do not, do not, do not, do not take this apart like this because if you do, the whole thing will come flying apart. So I can only do this on this car because it has a torsion bar front suspension. You see, that's the torsion bar right there. The little bar going like that right there in the back. And the only thing that's loaded on this, spring loaded, is that uh, lower control arm, that thing, that big thing there. So not the spindle, but the part you see with the bolt holes right there. This part up here is not spring loaded whatsoever, so you can just take it apart as needed. Once again, if you've got a coil spring, it's in the, in the A arm up there, don't take all this shit apart. It'll come flying out on you. Have it done professionally if you need to. So anyway, Here's the subject of our uh, mechanical exploration today. And this is the wheel cylinder. I've already taken the seals off to look in there. And it mounts like that. And that's the side that was partially working. It would partially move right there. And you can see it ain't looking too good. This is the side that was knocked up. Oh, I'm sorry, I got it backwards. Sorry, this was the side that was partially working, and this is the side that was locked up. See how rusty that is? When you see that, that's game over. There's no way that's going to ever work. So that's that was the cause of our brakes not working right. It had one side partially working, this side, but I can push that side in a little bit with my thumb, but otherwise this side not working off so the back half of the drum brakes are just weren't, weren't even working so I don't know if this may even be the original on it I think that is um, that symbol there on my thumbnail I think that's Wagner I don't know what the 61 is but you can rebuild these things but I'm not going to I'm not gonna risk it because I've got new ones to go in there anyway so you know these things they're cheap and I'm not yeah, I'm not big on trying to rebuild brake parts, so. so I'll see through my stash and see if I've got the right one. I know I've got about three or four new ones, uh, so we'll see what that is, and then it's just simply going to be a matter of putting all this back together, and I guess I could have done a video on taking all this apart, but uh, I don't know that many people even have these cars with drum brakes anymore, so I don't think it would be of much interest to anybody. So. Anyway, that's that's the deal. That's why our brakes were pulling to that side over there. Like I said, initially, when you have a car that's pulling one way, look at the brakes on the opposite side of it because it's pulling because it's that brake, that side is what's doing all the work. And sure enough, this one was doing about 50% 50, 50 work over here because of a bad wheel center. So thanks everybody for watching. If you got any questions or comments, please post them up and I'll try to help you out with any anything you might have going on so uh, have a good one and once again just one more reminder about this uh, if you have a car or truck that has like a Chevrolet or a Ford that has a coil spring in the upper A arm again do not take all this bolts apart you can't do it normally the back the the sometimes the the backing plate with the dust, dust shield backing plate whatever you want to call that will come off just unbolt on its own and it doesn't go through the suspension like this one this one does it's got some big old bolts right there that hold it together. 
Okay, thanks for watching, folks. Have a good one.